Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is go into OpenSense under Services, under Kia DHCP, Kia DHCP4, and you're going to want to go to your subnets, and you need to define your subnets here. So unlike the old system, Kia creates a unique identifier for each subnet, and that unique identifier gets assigned to every static IP address mapping over here in the Reservations tab. So the software will, when it's when it's importing your static mappings from from the ISC system, it figures out which subnet the IP address belongs to. It pulls the unique identifier and includes it in the mapping so that everything works correctly. And the thing that is most critical is that this is done correctly. Once those are created, we want to apply that. Once we have our subnets de defined, we need to take a backup of the system. So we go into System, Configuration, Backups, and you just click on Download Configuration. And we want to give it the name of config.xml, because that's what the program looks for. And you should, pretty, you should put it in a clean folder so that it's you know, easy, to, easy to deal with. And once that is saved, we're going to go to the terminal into that folder and we're going to create our migrated config file that we're going to re-import back in here. Okay, once we're in our shell, you can see that we've got the migrate command and the config XML. Simply running migrate, if everything's fine with the XML file, will give you this. Seeing that it created the new XML file, which you can see there and it gives you the instructions on how to import it into OpenSense. Now, if we have an extorted backup file that has problems with it, for example, the one I just switched to, um, this config file does not have the static mappings from the old DHCP uh, system. And then we try to migrate it. You can see that it tells us right there that it didn't find any static mappings. Here's another example where this config does not have any of the subnet mappings from, from the Kia DHCP setup. And it tells you right there exactly what that it didn't find those and then how to go ahead and fix them. I've enhanced the way that the program verifies the XML file as it's going through it and looking for specific things, it checks each time to make sure that it finds something valid and uh, usable. If it doesn't, it'll throw a message to you saying exactly what it found that was wrong and it will give you some discussion on how to go about fixing it. Certainly there shouldn't be any errors ever. As long as you're using version 24 of OpenSense and you've created your subnets in the Kia DHCP setup and you've got a fresh copy of the backup, it should work fine without any issues. Okay, now that we have our new config XML file, we need to go back into OpenSense and we need to import that file so that all of our static mappings are now in the Kia setup. We're going to restore the configuration. We don't want to reboot. Let's use config XML, open it and just restore the configuration. Then we go back into services, look at Kia, look at our reservations, and you can see that they're all there.